make sure this is a good angle. And you can kind of see everything. So basically, if you saw my other video, I found a way to Jerry Ray your garage controller. So Alexa can open it. Sorry, she's behind me, so that triggered her. So let me show you. Alexa, play tune in everywhere. Put some music on, yeah. Hitting the last tune in station so you listen to. Old school 1057. Playing on the everywhere group. Whether you're making updates to existing properties or so, new construction, I bought this on Amazon. I'm gonna take two of the uh, screws out because I don't. Um, I kind of lost two screws. I put one in my truck for entirely different purpose. So to make this control your garage is very simple. They made it very easy now. So simply, you follow the instruction manual which is semi-useless because it's in Chinese, but you can download a manual on the website here. And what you want to look at on here, more specifically the value and the time, um, obviously 4,000 milliseconds is four seconds. You, a button push is basically um, half a second. So I would do 1110. And that's the K6 switch. Working mode, you, first of all, you take, uh, uh, it, this is weird. Okay, so basically, look. This switch, I don't know if you can see it, right there goes over there, okay? Now you need a fine pin or something, which I got this handy dandy paper clip. Actually, this is solder. Solder's not gonna work. Uh, a zip tie will probably work kind of pointy as you can see so now that it's in you want um, you basically want to control so k6 is the time delay working mode see I just changed this to right now it, it was it was interlock mode so you want everything on here well, in this case I only want relay 1 to do it so I'm going to do relay 2, 3, and 4 on self locking mode inching mode is uh, basically I mean I, I, I want only one relay on inching mode this has a piece of fucking uh, something over it so you just kind of have to peel it off as you can see and then I want, I'm going to do half, half a second, so uh, value would be one, one, one. So let me recap that with you. I want 500 milliseconds. One for one, two for one. Oh, uh, one for two and one for three. A.K.A. this switch, K6. And I only want Relay 1 to do it, so I'm going to leave Relay 1 where it is on inching mode, which I, I would think that should, that should just say momentary because it's confusing as hell. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now I'm just going to put this fucker back together. to make houses with and not a proper screwdriver. God damn it. I know if you've seen any of my other videos, I even admit I suck at making YouTube videos. I really do. It's always like, I almost fuck up. I'm not half ass. I must say, let me get my screwdriver. You need a number one for the screw. If I strip the hell out of this grill, I'll tell you right now. What's wrong with it? It's actually just like jammed in here somehow. I don't know. I was trying to. Screw's fucked. Whatever. 
Anyway, so we'll put it back. I'm gonna avoid that hole. As in throughout life, you, there's always one or two holes you should avoid. At least if you're a guy. Some guys won't avoid all holes, okay? Whatever. I'm just fucking around. Look. So, two screws, you're good. And phone falls. Okay, so now you need some sort of power cord. I have IEC cord. I'm gonna cut mine short. I need the other ends. Because the power's right there. I wanna minimize the amount of cable. Strip. All you need. All you need is live and neutral. So you can fucking get this thing to strip. Make sure you don't cut it and fuck it up. White is neutral. Always black is live. So in this case, according to the diagram, neutral live. You don't really need a big power cord for something like this. I mean, according to the manual, it takes up to 10 amps uh, DC. That's, uh, I think it's at 12 volts. Well, either way you look at it, this is AC. You're probably pulling about half a, half, a, half an amp if tops. All right, see, plugged in, live neutral, remember. Live is black, neutral is white. I plug this in to a working outlet. I have power. Now, I'm gonna pause the video, and when I come back to you, I'm gonna be up there, well, you can't see it, but up there, installing it. Okay, so, don't laugh. I mean, I this is my old device. I mean, it works. It basically uses a series of two relays. In the previous video, I just used a resistor and that, but I ended up changing it to two relays, so it discharges quicker, because um, I hate the toggling thing. So the reason why you would want to switch to this fucker is because this has, um, oh, what was that, inching mode, not the inching mode, it has momentary, so that's where the 500 milliseconds comes into play. 500 milliseconds, it'll toggle it on and off, the garage will open and close like a normal switch. You can work with it like a normal switch. Every garage has a switch. And if you follow that wire, in this case mine is just exposed, it goes right here. All it is, it's a momentary switch. When you push it, it basically touches those two wires there, which is where it was originally connected. You can cut into this wire anywhere online and plug this in. In this case, previous owner, a jerry-rigged uh, outlet up here. So you can see my outlet. So now I'm gonna put you on pause because I'm sitting on a ladder and I got my Cadillac down here and I don't wanna to touch my Cadillac when I'm doing this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these two wires in and these two wires. This is gonna be a bitch by the way because this, these two are short. Into the normally open. So you wanna connect it here and here to normally open. Both of them need to go in there. So basically one and one, one side here, one side here, and they both need to touch each other. So hold on. All right, I just wanna show, see how I wrapped them up? So they're both connected again. So a switch will work. Now hold on again. All right, yeah, the wires were too short, so I ended up using some uh, good old fashioned 18 gauge OFC speaker wire. In other words, uh, copper. Even though you don't need to get the nice speaker wire, you can use just shitty wire. And just to make sure that my wiring is correct. Keep in mind, um, when you touch it, see the garage went finished going up, or you probably heard it. Um, just keep in mind, it doesn't matter what, kind of, what part it goes into. Now I'm gonna connect it to the unit. Hold on one second. 
All right, so I went ahead and plugged it in. I got a solid light. Now, in order to do this, you need the e wink lamp or amp or app or whatever, e -wee link app. And then you get the Alexa skill and all that. You should already know what to do. And it works with Alexa completely. I tested it already. Never mind, Alexa. Okay. Uh, yeah, she she's a little nosy bitch, isn't she? So anyways, you don't need all that. You just do this. Bada bing, bada boom. It's good to make sure it works. I'm going to push this button, which is the equivalent of me pushing this on in the app. Or me pushing it on in, uh, or telling what's her face, I'm not gonna say her name because she's a nosy bitch, to do it. Boom. And then if I push it again, it should stop exactly how, like, when I push the button. Let's see what I mean. Trigger, now it's opening back up. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter what side you do this, just make sure you put it on the normally closed part and common. That's all you got to do, and make sure your wiring, you cut it, you put a wire, you cut it, and then you put those two in one, and then you put those two in another. In this case, I use speaker wire and a couple wire nuts. This thing can just chill right here. It's not a big deal. Ain't going nowhere. As long as my caddy's safe. And so I really don't like the way this is, the installation was here. Yeah, that's really it. And then, um, now this is a four port. I'm only using one, but in theory, I can wire that light to it if I wanted to at this point. I could do a bunch of stuff with this, but I only got it for the lights because with the old system using the TP Link smart switch, um, and my device, which I used a bunch of liquid nail and a couple relays just because I wanted it to last forever, the capacitor. And um, yeah, if you watch my other video, you'll see exactly what this is. But um, because you would have to toggle it on and off, and that was kind of annoying to me. So this is the new and improved. Uh, obviously when I made that video, Alexa was just coming out. Never mind, fucking nosy bitch. Alexa was just coming out, so uh, never mind. See what I mean? She was just coming out at the time, so this was the way around it. Now, the Chinese came up with something really good. I must say, thank you, Ewe Link. And your instructions for the normal people probably isn't good enough, but it was easy for me anyways. But I hope that you find this video useful, and I hope I didn't make a shitty video. If you have questions, just shoot a comment on here. I'm always willing to answer. Thank you.